Hello. <laughs> You know what you have just seen? You saw a human right during the process of making her dream becoming true. And although it took me to go against the rational idea of it being not possible, however, my irrational and unconditional love, faith, and burning desire have led me to bridge the gap between the desirable and achievable. Well, if you would ask me over a decade ago, would I have a dream of imagining me dancing on point shoes, I would rather tell you, of course, if only in my magical dreams. <laughs> But you know, throughout my whole life, the experience has proved that we actually carry all the necessary prerequisites in ourselves for the most magical things our imagination can reach out. And it just takes to remove quite few mental barriers from our heads and to accordingly adjust our intrinsic motives and sparkling passionate desires towards direct, disciplined, structured, and consistent actions. This kind of scenario happened to me one nice, beautiful, sunny morning when I innocently opened my eyes and the first thing that came to my mind was that, God, why am I so unhappy? I don't want to tolerate this state anymore. I really want to be happy. By then, I was a freshly graduated law student from a very tough, newly opened French university in Armenia. I had also accomplished my undergraduate study exchange program of IREX, where I was chosen from hundreds of students and was sent to the United States of America, to Utica College on stipend basis to do my uh, international relations course. But one thing I knew for sure, that profession of a lawyer was contradicting to all my natural instincts and personal characteristical features. On contrary, my endless love towards arts, especially towards ballet, was present in each and every cell of mine. Well, that morning I decided to do a revolutionary change of the Groundhog Day story. With a feeling of a life-imprisoned person that by an amnesty just got out of a jail, straight away I went to Yervan State Choreographical College, where I was lucky to meet one of my ballerina friends, who was a student there, whom I asked to introduce me to a teacher that will agree to give me private ballet classes. Um, I have got introduced to a prima ballerina, Maria Divanian, whom I always admired on a stage in various leading roles of the opera, of the opera ballet and uh, opera theater, on the stage of ballet and opera theater. <clears throat> well, I could not actually believe this is happening to me, but I behaved, gathered all my accumulated courage and decided to make a step towards the realization of my dream. The hard, endless trainings have begun. Well, in the beginning, <laughs> neither my teacher nor I um, had any um, promising traces of potential perspectives. But after a couple of months of trainings, the time has came to make the next step. Honestly, I can still remember the face expression of the former ballet master of opera and ballet theater when I told him that I have an irresistible desire to try myself in ballet. And I've asked him to give me a chance. And guess what? 
again, in a couple of months of sleeping and waking up in the practice rooms of our theater, I've got my first role as a willow tree in the famous Anush Opera. <laughs> Uh, well, today, already nine years later, I dance solo parts, small solo parts there. <laughs> In famous uh, opera set Nova, Ballet Roman Juliet, Opera Carmen, as well as on December 8 and 9, I'm going to perform as a soloist in Astor Piazzolla's famous operita, Maria de Buenos Aires. <laughs> Thank you. Um, during my whole, I should mention that during my whole uh, progressive and uh, that my whole progressive and creative fuel has been constantly enriched by various sources of inspiration, including nature, music, literature, silence, graphical and performing arts as well as by historical figures, legendary masters of ballet, Peerless, my main source of inspiration, Maya Plisetska, Anna Laguna, Isidora Duncan, um, Mikhail Baroshnikov, Ivan Vasiliev, Rodolf Nuriev, etc. Not to mention, re recently I came up with a very interesting story of a Russian Jewish woman <clears throat> who had a very artistic and eclectic character. Um, her name was Ida Rubinstein, she was a Belle Epoque figure, and without having uh, an academic ballet background, she has inspired worldwide famous uh, choreographer Mikhail Fokin to stage personal ballet for hers, where she, f she would perform with such great artists as Vaslav uh, Nizhinsky. And uh, moreover, she got on point shoes in her 45. So my case is actually not so bad. <clears throat> so, after all of these stories, how not to let our true dreams to come true? Well, during my life story, I've learned a few very essential uh, lessons. First is that enthusiasm, hardworking, dedication, and self-discipline are the cornerstones of any kind of success. Second is that you should always uh, know where you are situated. Your, you should always estimate your coordinates of the present. And as well as you should always have a very sharp and clear development vector. Third is that Sincere kindness and wise tolerance are able to open hearts and doors. Fourth is that you should never regret of energy invested in anything you believe in because sooner rather than, rather than later you will experience its ultimate projection. And the fifth is that it just take one decision one single step towards becoming the architect of your own destiny. So, overall, this story was directly portraying my initial ikigai that I have built with all my hectic joyousness cultivated from the day that I was born. Uh, happiness itself served as a stimulating, impactful motive in the establishment of my Ikigai kingdom. And so subsequently, it turns out that um, the accomplishment of your Ikigai is your life personal signature itself. When you do embrace your true happiness, share and transmit it to the others, and return to the universe the goodness that once just a chaotic, unorganized stardust. Thank you very much.